All right. Hey there, everyone. The problem today we are going to be solving is called robot room cleaner. It's a hard implementation based problem. So let me just go through this problem once. You are controlling a robot that is located somewhere in a room. The room is modeled as an M cross M binary grid where zero represents a wall that is an obstacle and one represents an empty slot. The robot starts at an unknown location in the room that is guaranteed to be empty and you do not have access to the grid. So basically you will be given this APIs where you can call the move method on the robot that will move the robot to the next cell. You can uh, call the turn right or turn left method that is going to be moving the robot's orientation by 90 degree and the clean method is going to clean whatever the current cell is if it is not an obstacle. Now let's try to see how we can pro solve this problem. Well, uh, the goal behind this problem is to clean up all the cells and you don't have access to any of the coordinates. Let's try to see how we can solve this problem. Well, uh, we can assume that uh, initially the robot is at 0, 0 position and it's a reference position. position. All the position of the cell that we are going to be computing is relative to, uh, relative to this position. Now, the idea behind solving this problem is to use depth for search and backtracking. Now let's see how we, how we will do that. Initially, the robot, if you see the robot initially, the robot I is at this look, uh, this position. So it's, it's going to be moving this. If you call the move method right now, it is going to be moving to this cell. So, uh, but how do I calculate the coordinates for that? Well, you see the robot can actually move to the four direction because we have four adjacent cells and we can either move to the left, left, right, right. So if you go here, it is going to be, well, the X coordinate will be minus one and the Y will remain same. And this position, if you, instead of, uh, let's say that you move to right first, then the robot will be turning up. Then you call the move method. Then it is going to be zero, uh, yeah, zero minus one. And if you move here, that is going to be one and zero because you are adding one to the X value, X coordinate. And this is going to be, uh, yeah, this is going to be zero one. Yeah, that's it. So let's try to see how we can solve this problem using backtracking. Let's say that robot is moving here. Now again, robot orientation is here. From here, I can also call the move method. The robot will be here. Again, from here, I can call the move method. The robot will be here right now. If we call the move method here, the robot won't be able to move that because there is an uh, um, dead end. So we can either uh, turn the robot to the left or right. So I'm going to be turning the robot to the right because that's going to be clockwise direction, but you can also do left or anti-clockwise anti direction. Now, if I turn the robot to the right, it is not going to be immediately moving. It will just change its orientation. Now I can call the move, meta, uh, move method and it is going to be here. Now here again, you can see that there is an obstacle, but we can solve this problem. Uh, what we can do is like, we can again move the robot to either left or right. Since I have uh, chose right, I am going to be moving the robot to the right. So if I call the move right method, the robot's orientation will be at right. Then again, I can call right. Again, the robot can keep moving, keep moving until here it finds an obstacle. Now, at this position, I can again call the right method. The robot will be at here. The robot can go here and move. Yeah, keep moving here till it gets this. Now, uh, once it receives that, I can either call right or left. I can call right, right? If I call the right, the robot will be pointing to here. Robot can keep moving, keep moving. And here you see, here is a special case. The case is that all the cells are visited and nothing we can do from here. We cannot move to right, we cannot move to left, or we cannot move to the next cell. So in this situation, we will have to backtrack, backtrack, uh, backtrack to the previous uh, cell. But how we are going to be doing that? Let's try to see in broad, broader picture. 
let's assume that initially uh, the robot was here it moved to the cell dead cell where we cannot go anywhere and robot is pointing to this direction it must be coming from this direction only uh, otherwise we won't be able to reach the next cell now how do i go to the previous cell in order to go to the previous cell first you will have to change the orientation of the robot uh, to uh, move that robot to 180 degrees so that it can look like this how do we do that well since i am choosing right always so i can do is like i can move right then again move right then i can call the move method i am defining m as a move method so it will be at here previous cell now again i will have to reach uh, reach to the cell how the, how do i do that well i can i can simply move again move right two times if i move one times right then it will at, it will be at here and if i move uh, right again it will be at here as simple as that so this is my idea to solve the problem let's try to see how we can code it up all right let's implement this problem so i have given a clean room method which is having a reference to the robot so first the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be keeping the reference these dot robot is equals to robot and i will also be storing the directions it is going to be 2d array let me just name it so what are the points that i'm going to be storing let's try to see so if we see this uh, diagram initially it is at 0 0 location uh, so as i have mentioned that i will always be moving uh, turning to right so from here if i if i go here it will be minus 1 0 but what if i want to turn right what what are the things that need to be added to the coordinate of the current robot that is going to be 0 minus 1 from here again if I want to turn right, that is going to be one zero. I need to add one zero to the coordinates. And again, if I want to move right, then I will have to add zero one and so on, so on and so forth. So if I store them minus one, zero, zero, minus one, then one zero and zero one. But why am I doing this? Well, I'll have to remember uh, the orientation or the direction of the robot from where it is coming previously so that I can keep moving to the same direction. As I have mentioned that I will always be moving to the same direction until or unless I, I hit some sort of obstacles or a dead end. So this array will help me remember uh, what was the orientation. I will be using another variable called D which will be starting from zero uh, and it will uh, go towards three and it will be cycling again from zero, one, two, three, zero. And each time I want to change the direction, I can just simply increment D, uh, change D. So, uh, and take uh, directions at D eighth location. That's all. Now let me solve this problem. So I will be doing a depth first search which will actually be which will actually try to clean so let me just define a depth first search dfs and initially it is at zero zero location and initially i will have to pass again the orientation that's why i have taken this direction array so initially the orientation is zero that is it is going to this direction only that is the left and once it is done yeah that's it now let me just define the depth first search method and it is going to be taking uh, two indices, row, column, and the, 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 which is orientation. Now, what I'm going to be doing is, since it's a depth for search, I will also have to take a hash uh, set, which is going to be of type string. And let me call this as visited. Why am taking? Why am I taking this set? It is because I don't want to visit the same row and column again and again in depth of search, which has already been visited or clean. So initially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, let's take key is equal to row plus some delimiter plus column. And I'm going to be adding visited 
visited dot add key that's it and if it is at the current cell then obviously the cell is empty we will have to clean clean that cell so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be calling this okay this dot robot dot clean it is going to okay it should be robot not roboto <laughs> roboto is a font that i love okay once it's been cleaned. For that, you'll have to turn on Wi-Fi and connect to a network. Sorry, it's a Google Assistant. Oh, again, okay. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be uh, iterating over all the directions and try to call this method recursively to clean that. For that, I'm going to be iterating over i i is equals to zero. I greater than four. I plus plus. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be calculating the index of the new row and column. So let's call it X. So X will be row plus uh, directions, whatever is the current direction I'm going. So that will be defined by D and zero. So zero is basically the offset, which needs to be added to the X value of the coordinate and Y is going to be column plus directions D and one one is the column offset and now the main part here the first thing I'm gonna be checking if not visited dot this is visited yeah yeah not visited dot contains contains uh, what I'm going to be checking is X plus some delimiter plus Y if the cell is already not visited and we can actually move. So robot dot move. It means that uh, the next cell is not an obstacle. Then I'm going to be calling that for search with the new coordinates and obviously the direction. Now, once the visited, uh, once we are done visiting that direction, it is possible that there are other cells in other other three direction for that we will have to backtrack go back and restore the position uh, restore the orientation of the robot to the current cell so for that i'm going to be defining a method this is going to be public void backtrack and what it's going to be doing is it's going to be this dot Actually, I don't need this. I can just see, uh, simply say, okay, turn right, I guess. Yeah, turn right. That we have discussed. We can call turn right two times. Then we can call the robot move method and then turn right two times. That's it. It is going to restore the position or backtrack. We can simply call uh, backtrack. That's it. Now, once it's been done exploring in one direction, we will have to do that for all the other directions. For that, I will have to actually change robots direction, turn right. And since I'm turning right, I should also change the orientation. The new orientation is going to be D plus one since the adjacent is adjacent to uh, this one is actually moving right. And it should cycle, that's why I'm doing a modulo division by four so that's all let me just run this code to see if there is any error okay now let me just submit this code yeah it's done so let's try to calculate the time complexity of this approach you see we are doing depth for search only one and one time and we are visiting each and every cell only once so the time complexity should be order of n and the space complexity is order of n since uh, we're taking extra hash set for keeping track of all the visited cells. But in reality, the time complexity will be N minus M. M is number of obstacles. Let's say that we have given a matrix which is having all the obstacles, all the all the ones. Then our algorithm won't, won't run. The robot won't be able to move to any of the cell. For that's why we uh, that's why we will have to subtract the value order of N and N. And this is again same for the space complexity. So that's all.